Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I've got a new tool to upgrade your HD Zero VTX. Looks like it's from FR Sky. That doesn't make much sense. We'll take a look today, see if we can get our VTX updated. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. First order of business, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell. It helps me get out more content to you. Before now, if you wanted to upgrade your HD Zero VTX, you'd need a set of goggles or your VRX. You put the firmware file on a micro SD card, and then you would connect your incredibly short data transfer cable from your goggles or VRX to your VTX. I do have a video tutorial on how to do the original way. I'll post that up here in the upper right. But as you see, the cable is really short. I was able to pick up this longer data update cable, but it still can be a pain to update your VTXs. FR Sky has come up with a new solution because they have partnered with HD Zero uh, for their new monitor with a built in VRX. With that, they needed a way to update the VTX. You can get this USB dongle. I believe I picked it up for about 15 US dollars shipped. Picked it on, up on the Horace website. You can also get this on AliExpress. Uh, I believe I got it in about a couple weeks. I'll post the link in the video description. This is what we're gonna use today to update our VTX. Currently the flashing software only supports Windows this tutorial, we're going to be using Windows exclusively to update the VTX. On our PC, we're going to head over to the HD Zero website. And we're going to go to the download section. We're going to scroll down for the firmware. We're going to grab the most recent firmware that's compatible with our VTX. Once we've got the VTX firmware downloaded, we can head over to FR Sky's website so we can pick up the firmware flashing software. Okay, we're gonna head over to the download section once again. Go to the products. It's kind of a tricky place here. You'll have to scroll down and it's actually under the sensors, you click on the other tab, and there you can see the HD Zero VTX upgrade tool. That's what we're looking for. You're gonna find a manual that explains the process that I'm gonna go through, as well as the actual upgrade tool. Now, before you get started with the upgrade tool, uh, you're gonna get an error message if you try to run it without installing the drivers first. So we're going to go into the folder once we've extracted it, and we're going to go ahead and run the driver installers. There's going to be two of those. We're going to go ahead and install both of those drivers. I believe one of the drivers automatically installs when you connect the firmware flasher to your PC, but you will need to make sure that both of those drivers are installed before you get started with the flashing process. Once we've confirmed the second driver has installed, we can go ahead and connect the USB cable to our PC and the other end to the VTX, and then open up the firmware flasher. We're gonna select IC at the top, slide down to SPI, then we're gonna scroll all the way down to Win bond, and then we're looking for W25Q80BVB. Once you've got that selected, 
You're going to click on the green arrow to read IC. Then we're going to click the red X to erase IC icon. Then we'll hit yes to erase. Now all we have to do is to open the firmware folder and it flashes our firmware. We're going to do that by clicking on the open icon. Then we're going to select our appropriate HD0 VTX firmware. And then we're going to click on the red arrow this time. And then we'll hit yes to begin programming. Once that's complete, we can go ahead and close the app and unplug our VTX. Looks like the firmware flash was successful because the goggles are able to connect to the VTX. All right, looks like we were able to get the VTX updated successfully. So that's definitely a win for another option to update your HD0 VTXs. Now, if you did pick up the longer cable, I believe they have those on hd0.com. I'll have to double check. That's the same plug. It'll give you a little bit more length when you're updating your quads. But now you don't have to have your goggles or VRX handy to go ahead and update your uh, HD0 VTX. Hopefully this video was informative, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, post those down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always... We'll catch you in the next one.